Hi, this is Lady Coach speaking. I am the technical group supervisor of Lab 13 Albania. And today I wanted to talk to you about something, te something technical about the model view controller design pattern. So let's uh, take the time to look at the scheme I have drawn previously. And let's look at the individual items that uh, make up the model view controller design pattern. Okay. So, uh, let's imagine that we have a real-world problem, like uh, we have to design a financial, uh, financial system, financial software. And let's imagine we have the inventory, the user, the items, uh, entities that take part in this, uh, in this real-world real problem. And for this, we have to design the classes that represent those entities. And those classes will, will have uh, all, the, all the properties that those entities also have in the, in the real world. So, uh, after we design the class model, simply by extending an ORM library like Hibernate, for example, uh, we can, we can uh, manage to have a data access layer, and uh, so we don't have to, to, to manually write SQL, uh, SQL statements 85% uh, of, the, of the time. Okay, so uh, the, the class, uh, class model represent, representation will be in the model. And then uh, also the business logic will be, uh, will be encapsulated in the model. And uh, the, the controller part will change, will change the, the model state depending on the user input on the view. Let's imagine, for example, that we have some form representing some different data, for example, a data grid, some labels, some graphic, some visual graphic. And let's imagine that the user, based on the data he sees on the view, he decides to, 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 to push the submit button or to select an option and that's some different form. Then, uh, this, uh, this operation that the user does is uh, translated into, into an operation that the controller knows uh, to translate into a, a change of state in the model, actually. The change state of the model will, uh, will be reflected back in the controller and the controller will send the change state data back to the view. And uh, this change state of the model will be presented back in another view to the user. So, this is basically what the model view controller design pattern uh, does for us. It has uh, uh, a lot of uh, pros, like organizing the code, and uh, it, is, uh, it is considered an ar architectural pattern because it gives our applications, our projects, a solid, uh, a solid architecture. So I strongly recommend you to begin uh, to use the model view controller pattern. Thank you guys, and see you in the near future with some other technical uh, videos. Bye-bye. Have a nice one.